Come and join us today at Universal Studios covering everything that just opened today at Minion Land. We're going to try lots of different drinks, see some characters, try some desserts, and of course, a few things at the Minion Cafe. Lots of fun and lots of good food. Today, All right, today we're at, at Universal, Universal Studios. And we are going to see the Minion Cafe. Yep. Yes, the we're, opening of the Minion Cafe. Yeah, and we're gonna eat some fruit there. And this is part of Minion Land, almost complete. One more thing to go, basically, the ride. The ride. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The Minion Cafe is right behind us. So we made it. We were just here yesterday for a Minion Watch, and today they opened it. Me. Yeah, there's me. They're still not opening this ride yet, so no official word. Team members are riding it. I've heard good things, but they've opened up. They're kind of opening up in sections. They opened up the villain and a shop, which we did a tour of. We did a comparison of the villain store and the Super Silly store. Now they opened up the other expansion. So we're going to show everything today. I cannot wait. So for today, they had Johnny and Gunter rotating with the minions. This could change, but the screens will tell you who's coming and who is there. Hi, Johnny! We got, we got Johnny and Gunter! Hi! Hi, Gunter! We're so excited you guys are here today! I've never seen you guys before. Uh, we got minions with us today. Yeah, say bello. Buddy boy, say bello! Also, Rosita will be joining them, but unfortunately she wasn't there today. But I do hope that they keep adding scene characters. Alright, bye Gunter! Oh, hi, bye. Alright, you too! Bye bye! Thanks guys! Thank you, bye! We saw there was a line to get in, but I just wanted to show this awesome window display of the Bake My Day Bakery, which we'll be showing right after we eat at the cafe. Alright, Bake My Day is going to be opening soon. Freeze Ray Pops. So most are an actual popsicle with some fun flavors, but there are specialty popsicles, which is like an ice cream bar. Popsicle flavors are mango, strawberry, coconut, blueberry lemonade, cotton candy, cheesecake, lemon mint, and cookies and cream. And they hadn't put out those specialty popsicles just yet. We let the kids try too, but we ate so much of the food that we're gonna have to come back. But I was pleasantly surprised by these. Make sure you stop in and get one. Plus, Florida gets super hot, so it's a very refreshing snack. Now, they did have the Bank of Evil. It is just a facade, just a picture spot. It's actually part of the cafe inside. We went right in as soon as it officially opened, which was really cool. And you mobile order and then pick a table. And once you get to that table, you scan the QR code. So we ordered quickly, sat down, scanned our code, waited for our food, and we do a tour. Alright, this is the break room. We have a vending machine. All this goodie stuff. Banana spray. Oh, they have Mr. Gru's. Oh, look, they have Otto's Pet Rock. And a Sunday in here. Mom, are these real? No, Manic well, can, Energy Drink. Can you actually get one? Over here. So this is the kitchen where they are, where they are preparing the meal. You like it? <laughs> Banana! Look! Look, there's like purple. That's your favorite. I love it. That's fun. Banana, banana, banana. It's in their shoe. There's uh, Tim. That's Otto's plushie. Banana, banana, banana. It's like a hamster wheel. They're running through a hamster wheel. That's cool. Unless they have like eyeballs all over the um, utensils and bananas all over. Just stuff all over here. Is that Bob? No, that's, that's Stuart. And this is the dining area. All the art that they were talking about. The minions made this art. They they said, "Oh, look! I like the uh, rock." They they painted 
these rocks to look like the characters. Bob has his teddy bear. Tim. And we got Otto. This is pretty cool. And if you didn't know, this Minion Cafe used to be a Universal Monsters Cafe, but that will be moving to Epic Universe. The so cool banana and the pet rocks. Banana, banana, banana. This is where, I think it was Stuart who broke the guitar. Remember in the Minion movie? He broke the guitar in front of the queen. So Universal announced there would be three themes to the cafe and outdoor seating, but that was the dining theme, this is the kitchen theme, and we picked the break room theme. I was honestly surprised how much seating there really is. I have to say they have so much attention to detail, so many little easter eggs, I love the motivational posters, but inside these lockers, lots of goodies. Oh, that's when they turn into a chick from the last movie, The Rise of Gru. There's a probably a car gun in here. Tim, oh that's from the car from the Minions when we were there in London. There's tea, like what they would do with experiments. Bananas of course. Uh, like an old school game and TV. We have some snacks in here. Another one, like thermos. Kitchen sinks are not for bathing. That's great. King Bob. King Bob! They had a few things for the kid options, but I knew the kids would love the mac and cheese. And then this Otto's noodle bowl, they do a little presentation where they dump the noodles essentially, and then they pour this broth over it. Just a fun and short presentation. At Minions Cafe, we got the Agnes Honeymoon Soup. And then the kids got Fredonia Festival of Mac and Cheese. Sandwich right here with some banana plantain. Or are they plantains? Or they some just kind of banana chips. This is green banana chips, yeah. So those green banana chips right there. And then we got Otto's noodle bowl right there. Showing from my angle, this was a peanut butter mousse rock. They had this basically a cheddar roast beef and cheddar sandwich. The noodle bowl has eggs, shrimp, and pork and corn. Mac and cheese, pretty simple with those tater tots. That was a green tomato soup with pork belly and tomato and a pimento grilled cheese, which was also on the kids menu. This is a confetti cupcake, vanilla and bubblegum icing. The bear is a chocolate cream puff, another mac and cheese with a tiny banana, and then the Swiss roll. So we'll do a quick review on things we recommend and don't. But honestly, the presentation was amazing and they did such a good job, especially being the first day. How is the mac and cheese, buddy? Do you like it? Mm. What does that taste like? I want to try it. That's a little spicy. Yeah, it's it is. Spicy. That's, that's good. There's pork belly in here, too. So it's Dip good. that in the soup. I think the, the noodle bowl is good. It's a little, it's got a kick to it. You think the spices? There's different that's spices spice than that. the meat. I do like the soup better though than I like this. It's still good. But I think my favorite is between the soup and with the sandwich and the beef. Uh, like beef and cheese sandwich. Basically a beef and cheddar sandwich. It's beef and cheddar sandwich. Yeah, I think that's between Sorry. these two so Banana far. chips are awesome. I like the soup the most. Okay. And this like sandwich is really good. Too. Like um, waffle like sandwich. That's awesome. Yeah, I like it. If you dip it in that, that's the best. Actually. The pumpkin says she like these the tater tots. I think they're tater tots. They are tater tots. More than the mac and cheese. The buddy boy is eating it up. At first, I thought they were nuggets. What is your favorite thing, pumpkin? So far. I like the soup. You like the soup? Okay. Yeah, I like the sandwich for sure and the soup too. I think that's the winner. And then we'll try the desserts here in a minute. These are adorable. There's one with two eyes. And this one got eaten half off but it was one eye. Oh, look. There you can see kind of. Bible. Oh, is it like a cup? Bible. Yeah. I didn't read it, so. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. I that's know. A cream puff. Not gonna work that way. It's kind of like hidden. I'm gonna try these 
five of them. This is a confetti cake and it's super good. It tastes like banana. It's like a birthday cake. That's, there we go. Thank you. that's peanut butter. Peanut butter, okay. Never tried this. Peanut butter. Banana roll up. Yeah, this is mm -hmm. like a banana birthday cake. Banana roll up. Mango? That's really it good. It should be banana. <laughs> Mango! It's peanut butter and jelly. Oh. Look, there's jelly. Turn around. Look, show mommy. I should have read it. Okay, my favorite is that. Yeah, the cream's kind of hard to get in there. Mm. I mean, that's good, but I'm going to say between this one I and this one. I took a bite of the horn. Favorite? Actually, this one. This one's your favorite, the rock? Okay, pumpkin. Which one's your I favorite? I love the texture of the rock. Yeah. But, like, I'm more of a... Or they have. Not a big peanut butter fan, unless it's just regular peanut butter. Right. Still good. There's like pink. Okay, there's pink at the bottom. I didn't get last time. Next up is the bakery. We started pouring, so we ran right in there. Yours forever fluffy. Cupcake flavored toffee. Little backpacks. Maybe they're like cotton. I don't know. The wig cotton candy. Skip on those sugar cookies. They were really dry at the Jurassic Park store. A bunny, a bunny cupcake. Bunny cupcake. Yeah. It was six of these for $20. We ended up trying a variety, but really the only ones we could taste the difference were banana and I believe strawberry cheesecake. Snickerdoodle and a little bit of the passion fruit, but the others, I couldn't tell which one was the birthday cake and which one was the cotton candy. I say they're good, but they're not the best dessert we've had. And the cupcakes are pretty standard anywhere you go at Universal. Alright, so they have a plate set. They have some utensils, cups, shirt, plush, keychains. They have caramel popcorn, candy coated popcorn, sour gummies, marshmallow treats, banana flavored white chocolate, marshmallow treats, assorted chocolates. Oh, I do like these. 
Cheers. Blue raspberry flavor, they're six dollars. Cherry and sour apple, and then cotton candy. These are bubblegum cotton candy. Universal does have different kinds, sour, rainbow, and caramel corn too. All right, so that they are still working on over there. It is raining. So they have this pop of nana over here too with banana flavored popcorn. We already have a popcorn bucket and we forgot to bring it. The banana popcorn, okay, it's $6.69 for a cup. And then regular popcorn is $5.19 as well as well as banana bread and specialty drinks. There's a line for the mini cafe again. And the, the uh, popcorn bucket stand is closed right now. They said it's solar powered and it's raining. So, and then their machines are also getting wet. But it is Florida and it's been off and on raining all day. I just am so excited that they're done with this area. It looks awesome. They did a really good job in four months. Four months they did this. Coming back to the freeze pops, they had the specialty ones out. Gru is a Nutella one, Vector is a creamsicle, and the Minion is a banana. And they had the other flavors we listed off before. <laughs> All right, so we got two freeze pops. We'll be trying more flavors later. Can I try the cotton candy? Sure. Oh, wow. That is cotton candy. See, it has blue inside. Oh, my goodness. That's really good. Okay, I love those. Those are fun. I'm jealous. I know. No, I can't eat any. I, I want to take a break because we ate a lot. We ate a lot of food. But we'll come back for sure and try more I'll, stuff. No, and I we want got the, one of those to myself. I know. I want the Gru one. It's a Nutella one. I love these so much. These are so fun. So the Minion banana stand is open. The cafe is open. Really cool. This is just a facade for, I think, the restaurant where the seating is. Mobile pickup. You can order from Minion Cafe and pick up here. I don't know if that's ready, though. And then the freezer pops, huge addition to this whole area, this whole thing. Bake My Day is the bakery that we just went to. We're still waiting for this ride to open. We've heard team members are testing, so hopefully it's soon. One nice thing is this pathway is now open by the Transformers, so you can easily walk through there. As soon as this ride is open too, we're gonna give our full review and POV of that. We cannot wait. The doors on the Illumination Theater look cool too. You can see group and over over here we went back to the popcorn stand to try the two specialty drinks there and the banana popcorn the yellow one the antidote says oodles of banana flavor with minion colored topping and graham cracker crumbles and the px41 punch is lemonade with bright flavors of strawberry kiwi with evil minion color toppings and blue raspberry pop rocks it's like ice it's like an icy it does kind of taste like banana icy Wait. He wanted the purple one. I like it. Features great and small. Now appearing at the Illumination Theater, the stars of Sing. Daddy, which one do you like better? That one. The banana? Which one do you like better? Oh, the banana? Look, huh? You like it's that one better? They do still sell Minion Popcorn Buggers for around 30 to 35 bucks. The banana popcorn was okay. It's a hint of banana. And refills with the bucket are $4. It's not the whole thing. Yeah. It's like pieces, pieces mixed into it. Okay. It's not so overpowering. Yeah. Okay, I like it. These thingies are popping candy. We thought both the drinks were pretty good. It's very sweet though, similar to an icy with like a cream topping. We finally got to see the minions after the rain and Rick noticed that the screens did change so now it says now appearing minions and coming soon sing. Pretty cool. And the minions are slightly different. This time it is Tom and Kevin. You should still be able to meet Minions, Gru, and the girls at times after the Minion ride or in the Silly Stuff store, but if it changes, we'll let you know. Oh, what? Why? Yeah, look at Daddy! There you go! Really cool to see different Minions out, and I really hope one of these days we get a purple Minion. That would be really awesome. Thank you, Kevin! Thank you! Kevin and Tom, I have it. Alright, bye! Thank you, guys!
That was the full tour of what is open now at Miniland, just opened today. Stay tuned for more as there still is a new ride coming and new experiences to the park such as the new kid zone. Comment down below, let us know what else you would like to see. And a big thank you to Maddie and Lachey for helping support our channel. People like you help us to keep going and doing what we love. Stay epic, hit subscribe for more videos, go to our channel, subscribe, and subscribe, cut! Click this video if you want to see more Minions. We just recently did an update on the Villain Store and the Silly Stuff Store. And thank you so much for watching.